All right, guys, so this is the living room. Excuse it, it's not in the best shape, but this is the TV area. Usually, I put my Christmas tree here, and I have to move this sofa over here, but it'd be like a really, really tight space, and I don't like to move my furniture like that. I like the open space, so I'm going to attempt and try to put the Christmas tree here, but I'm hoping that it's not too wide where it, you know, messes with the walkway. So I'm about to try and see if I can put the Christmas tree here. And if I can do that, that would be awesome. So let's get to it. The first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep so now i'm going to put this christmas tree together but first i'm going to of course lay down the base and then i'm going to put the bottom piece and what i like to do is work my way up whenever I am you know fluffing out the tree so it's so much easier whenever I just do piece by piece so like right now I'm just putting one piece on the bottom piece and I am fluffing that out and then whenever I'm done fluffing out the bottom piece I will go ahead and grab the second piece fluff that out then grab the top part and fluff that out so that's how I like to do it I find it much easier for me to be able to see the areas that need to be filled in and fluffed out better and without a tree all up in my face so that's how I like to do it The mesh ribbon that I'm using I'm getting ready to use I got it from Walmart for $8.44 and it is a 18 inch by 9 foot and it should do the whole tree I might I should still have some still left over also but we shall see so let's put on the ribbon guys
So this ribbon that I have that I told y'all about, it is not a mesh ribbon. Um, it's more of like a harder fabric, so it's a lot harder to work with. I recommend using mesh ribbon whenever you're doing this method to your trees. I mean, like I said, you know, you can use whatever type of ribbon and do it, but it could be a lot harder. So if it's your first time wanting to put ribbon inside of your trees um, like this, uh, just start off with mesh first if you're a beginner but um, I did not like it this way um, I don't know I just wanted to, I wanted to change it up so you will see me change it up but I did not have enough ribbon y'all like and this ribbon is so thick like I had to cut it down the middle and it's still like wide and thick and I did not have enough ribbon to go down I did not feel like going back to the store and spending eight dollars just to add a little bit of ribbon at the bottom so I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to wang it. It is what it is. I'm going to fill that area up with some ornaments. But yeah, so now I'm adding this. This is like actual mesh. The white the white ribbon that you see, that is mesh. It's so much easier to work with. And I just kind of like, you know, tuck it inside of the tree a little bit. You know, make loops. And you can look at some tutorials on um, YouTube on how to do this. It's very easy. It's not hard. But this is some mesh that I had used, um, I want to say like last year and the year before. Um, and it's about, you know, done. So uh, I'm going to throw it away after I'm, you know, Christmas is over with. I'm going to throw that mesh away and buy some new ones. But yeah, so I, I decided to go up and down with the ribbon instead of going like, you know, diagonal. Um, I just felt like it just looked it better, especially with that ribbon being, you know, short. So yeah, so I'm going to go up and down instead of a diagonal. And these are the ornaments that I had from last year. So pretty much everything that I'm using is um, items that I used last year that I, you know, in my tree. And they're like silver and gold and like white sparkly ornaments that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on Christmas because for one, I do not have a lot of storage to store it. So that's why I have not been buying like a lot of like home decor stuff. I don't have nowhere to store. I don't have an outhouse or a shed. I'm going to try to get that really soon. But I'm putting my ornaments on. And I'm going to be having like a variety of colors. So I'm going to have black. You're going to see towards the end. I'm going to have some black ornaments. I'm going to have silver ornaments, white ornaments, gold ornaments, and a little bit of red ornaments. So this tree is going to have just about all the colors in there. Except for green, pink, and purple, and stuff like that. So this is the next day you guys and 
I decided, like I said, you know, to add my black ornaments that I purchased from Hobby Lobby to fill in the tree. But we're going to get into this scripture while I'm putting these ornaments on. And this video scripture comes from Proverbs 3130. And it says, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, So these are the picks that I'm going to be using and this is how I make my tree topper and like I said you know I have not purchased much new items for Christmas yet um, I just this is stuff that I used last year again and the red ones I did buy that from Hobby Lobby but they did not cost pretty much of anything everything is 50% off and these stems were I want to say like a dollar a piece and I got like four or five of them so I'm going to add those red stems so I use, you use the tallest stems first that's what I got from YouTube, watching YouTube video. You put the tallest stems first, and then you actually like layer the other stems. So, you know, the second to tallest stems, you put that underneath the tallest stem. You know, you kind of like layer it. You don't want them to be all like one size. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And like I said, you can go on YouTube and you can Google this. And it's really not hard at all, y'all. I'm vacuuming up all that glitter that's on the floor before I add my tree skirt and so I am doing the tree skirt hack you guys I instead of using a tree skirt I'm using a white blanket so that is like a little hack you know tree skirts can be very very like expensive like I've seen something for like 30 40 dollars and I'm like uh-uh I'm gonna use this white blanket and it's gonna look just like what y'all got for 30 40 dollars in the store okay and this blanket costs what five ten dollars yeah, so that's like a little hat you guys can use for your tree skirt. So that'll be all for this Christmas tree decorate with me video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in part two of my Christmas decorate with me video. Bye.